Welcome back to another Porsche Car Whisperer video. My name is Mason Gilchrist and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a little bit of the differences between a Macan GTS and a Cayenne Coupe and which one will work better for your lifestyle. That's good. So why are we comparing Macan GTS and Cayenne Coupe, do you ask? Well, as far as the price points, they're going to be very similar. So when you're shopping for your Porsche, I want you to know what you're going to get in both vehicles. The Macan GTS comes in just over $71,000 before any options. Cayenne Coupe comes in just over seventy-five dollars before any options have been added to the vehicle. So they're very, very similar MSRP. So I just would like you guys to see what you're going to get in both vehicles as far as standard as well as what these cars have. These cars aren't standard. They do definitely have a several options added to them. So today we're going to be discussing what you get for just right around in the mid uh, 80s with both vehicles. All right, so we're going to start in the front of the vehicle for both of them. As far as with the Macan GTS power plant comes with a 2.9 liter V6. It is turbocharged. Uh, it does have about 375 horsepower. It's going to be actually derived from the Cayenne S. Just going to be detuned just a little bit. Does, uh, Cayenne S has about 434, so this one has just a little bit less power, but it also weighs less as well. We'll be talking about that here in a moment. As far as the Cayenne Coupe, it does have a 3.0 liter V6 single turbocharge. Now, what kind of turbocharger does this have? The Cayenne Coupe has a twin scroll turbocharger, whereas the Macan GTS has a twin scroll turbocharger. With the 0 to 60, it's going to be about 4.7 seconds on the Macan GTS. If it has the optional Sport Chrono package, hits it in right about 4.5 seconds. What the heck is Sport Chrono package? Well, we'll be talking about that here in just a moment. As far as with the Cayenne Coupe, it comes with a 3 liter single turbocharged V6 has about 335 horsepower, so it's down on power from the Macan GTS. Still has a lot of power um, for the vehicle. The zero to 60 time. On the, on the Cayenne Coupe, just about 5.7 seconds. Gonna be just a little bit slower than the Macan GTS, just over about a second, depending on the equipment on the Macan GTS. Now, let's go over the items that are gonna be standard on both the vehicles, opposed to any of their other variants. Macan GTS comes with a beautiful RS Spider wheels. It's going to be a 20 inch wheel. It's going, to, it's going to be fitted in a satin black. It's going to be a really nice finish. Macan GTS also has the optional sport design package that you'll find in some of the other variants. On this car, it's going to be standard. It's going to have a really nice front bumper with the side skirts as well. So it's going to have a little bit lower look, a little bit sportier and more aggressive feel. As far as the headlights, headlights are going to be black tinted. Same thing with the taillights. They look absolutely beautiful. It's going to be a black and white tinted taillight. Makes for a really, really nice look, especially at night when you see this red bar going all the way across. A couple other items that you're going to also see standard with the Macan GTS. It's going to come with PASM. What is PASM? Well, PASM is going to help lower the car just by about 10 millimeters. It's also going to help also stiffen up the suspension when you're going around those crazy corners or if you do decide to maybe track your Macan. It's going to help bring the car down, really stiffen it up, and make it feel even sportier than it is. Of course, it's a Porsche, so it feels very, very sporty already. Something else that I really, really like about the Macan GTS is it's going to come with sport exhaust. It's going to be able to open up these flaps that are going to be in the exhaust system, make for a little bit more of a burble. It's going to make it sound just a little bit more mean and sportier as you're zipping by um, with this vehicle. Now, a couple other items that you will find standard. We'll be talking about those. You're going to find a lot of those items in the interior of the Macan GTS. Now, for its competitor, the Cayenne Coupe. What options are you going to find as standard opposed to the other Cayenne variant and why is the price point just a little bit higher than the other Cayennes that you'll see even though there may be option very similar from Cayenne to a Cayenne Coupe which we're talking about today. There's a couple options you are going to find standard. There's about six of them. 
you're going to find the Sports Chrono Package. That comes standard on this vehicle. What is the heck is a Sports Chrono Package? Well, Sports Chrono Package is going to give you several different drive modes. It's going to be a little dial that's going to be right on your steering wheel. It's going to give you normal, sport, sport plus, as well as your own individual mode where you can set up the different type of options that you would like your vehicle to have by going right in there. You can have a stiffer suspension. Maybe you want it a little bit sportier drive. You can set that up by the individual mode. In the middle of that sports chrono you're, that you're going to find a little button. It's going to be the sports response button. What the heck is a sports response button? Well, it opens up the wastegates to the turbo for about 20 seconds and it helps with any type of turbo lag that you may be experiencing. A good scenario to use that is if you're going to be getting on the freeway and you need to pass someone or if you need to pass someone as you're going out for a nice long drive and you need to have full boost right then and there without any type of turbo lag. What is turbo lag? Well, turbo lag happened on a decent amount of Porsches going back to the 70s. I don't know if you guys have ever driven a 930 turbo. You slam on the gas, one 1,000, two 1,000. It's going to take a little bit for that car to get going. So with the sport response button, that helps with any type of turbo lag, not to say that it's completely gone. Another thing that you're going to find standard on the Cayenne Coupe is it does have a fixed panoramic sunroof. Looks absolutely beautiful. You can open the shade, you can see up into the stars or the beautiful sky. It's going to be fixed with that sloping back. Several other items you, may, you are going to find on the Cayenne Coupe is going to be another acronym. I know I keep throwing some acronyms at you today, but it's going to be PAA. What the heck is PAA? Well, PAA stands for Porsche Active Aerodynamics. In the rear of the, of the new Cayenne Coupe, it's going to have a spoiler that's going to go up and down. It goes up right around 56 miles an hour, unless you manually want to put it up like a lot of our other sports car variants, 911, 718, Panamera. You can automatically put it up or it'll automatically come up at 56 to help with any type of downforce that you may need as the vehicle is starting to go at speed. So that's a, a very beautiful option. It looks very nice at night as you're cruising down the freeway um, or during the day. It's going to look for a lot more of a sportier attack. Now let's talk a little bit about the size differences on these vehicles. With the Macan GTS, it comes in right around 184 inches long, just about 63 inches tall and 83 inches wide. On the other hand, the Cayenne Coupe, about 194 inches long, 66 inches tall, and just about 86 inches wide. So you can see there, you're going to see a little bit of a size difference already between the Macan GTS and the Cayenne Coupe. Feelings are going to feel just a little bit different from one to the next. Something I forgot to mention about the Cayenne Coupe and its new standard features was we talked about the Sports Chrono Package, we talked about the fixed panoramic sunroof also does come with the optional 20 inch wheels. These 20 inch wheels look absolutely beautiful. In my opinion, the 19s were maybe always a little bit of a small option for the Cayenne, but the 20s, they look great. Cayenne Coupe, the fly line is the side profile that you're gonna see on all of our cars. Porsche likes to call it a fly line. It's gonna have a little bit more of a slope back that, you'll, that, you, that you will find uh, compared to the Cayenne. So with that fly line, it'll be just about a half an inch lower than the usual Cayenne. It's going to be just a little bit wider and a little bit longer than the standard Cayenne. With this fly line, you may think that you may lose just a little bit of headroom. You do, but for the rear seats, Porsche did lower them just about 1.1 inches lower to help with any type of headroom that you may find on some of us taller individuals. So that's something that you'll find in the new Cayenne Coupe. As the fly line, I think it looks for a lot more sporty appearance, kind of more like the uh, Macan GTS, making for a sportier feel. Something else you're going to find standard on the Cayenne Coupe is PASM. I know I talked about a little bit about that in the Macan GTS. It's going to give you a Sport and Sport Plus option for your suspension. Going to make it just a lot more sportier than um, if you did not have it. It's going to help it stiffen up and it'll just give a little bit more sportier of a drive. And Coupe also going to come standard with Power Steering Plus. It's going to help you in lower speeds turn the car. It's just going to help it move a lot better than if it didn't have it. All right, so now we're in the back of both these vehicles. Let's talk just a little bit about the size difference. We already talked a little bit about the length, height, and width. Now we're going to do what I like to call a golf club test. A lot of people love golf, so we're going to see how both of these vehicles size up. 
Wakan GTS has just about 17 cubic feet of size in the rear, so let's see how it fits up to the golf club test. I don't have a driver on this puppy, but let's see how she fits. All right. So we just talked about the cubic feet of the Macan GTS. As you can see, it still easily fits. Let's try the golf club test in the Cayenne Coupe. It's got just about 23 cubic feet of size, just a little bit bigger, but just about five cubic feet larger than the Macan GTS. Let's see how it fares up. As you can see, the golf clubs fit in there very, very easy on both of these vehicles. All right, and now that we're inside of the Macan GTS, let's talk just a little bit about what also comes standard on the inside. I'm sitting in these eight-way sport seats. Feels very snug as you're getting ready to go for a drive. Like I talked about a little bit earlier, this car is all about performance and your driving feel and also how the vehicle looks. These eight-way adjustable seats look fantastic and it gives for a very sporty side bolster uh, here on your side next to your back as well as down by your feet. Makes for a very nice feel. With this beautiful trim that you're gonna see here on the inside, it's a brushed aluminum in a black. That's also gonna be standard on this vehicle. Now, let's talk just a little bit about this, what we call PCM screen. It stands for Porsche Communication Management. It's got a beautiful 10.9 inch screen. You'll see it, it's also gonna come with Google Maps as well. So this looks very, very pretty. Now this car comes with the optional full leather. It's gonna be a partial leather. It's gonna have Alcantara in the center seats. It's gonna have beautiful red stitching that's gonna go across the dash as well as on the doors. Now, there's just a lot of other little bits that these Porsches come with. Here in the instrument cluster, it is gonna come with a nice little TFT display. You can see your vehicle screen, audio, phone, nice big beautiful map if you do not wanna have it here on your PCM screen as well as a navigation turn by turn, your tripometer. Now this vehicle comes with a beautiful red tachometer that's gonna be right in the center. Kind of ties everything in with the brakes, this nice, really nice red leather stitching. Here on the headrest, you're also gonna see a beautiful GTS that's gonna be right in the headrest. It definitely likes to let you know what you're gonna be driving, and that's gonna be a Macan GTS. Now, seat belts, also gonna be red. Ties in very nicely with this build white car, black, black rims, black interior with a lot of nice red bits. Makes for a very, very sporty look, as well as a beautifully sporty drive with these nice seats and all these other options that we've already discussed talking about the sport suspension in different sport modes. All right, and I also just wanna talk just a little bit about the rear seats on the Macan GTS. I put this front seat right around somebody probably six foot would have the seat. As you can see, it's a little bit tighter. Headroom, there's still gonna be plenty. It's close, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys this so you can also see what's gonna be happening inside the Cayenne Coupe as far as how somebody just right around a six foot frame will fit in that car as well. We'll see you in the other car. All right, so with the rear of the Cayenne Coupe, it does feel just a little bit more spacious than it did in the Macan GTS. As far as my headroom, I do have a little bit more. Really cool fun fact. On the Cayenne Coupes, for the rear seats, Porsche actually lowered them by 1.18 inches to help with any type of headroom loss that happens with the fly line on the Cayenne Coupe. So there is still plenty of room back here. I know that may have been a concern, but not a concern anymore. Okay, so instantly sitting in the Cayenne Coupe, does feel a decent amount more spacious than it did in the Macan GTS, hence a three inch width difference. So it just feels a little bit more roomy. Now the seats feel great. These are the optional 14 way seats. It comes with eight way seats as standard. This particular car has the 14 ways. It's gonna give you a little bit of functionality here in the front of the seat, as well as with a lumbar. The standard seat will not have those uh, different adjustments. Now going back to a little bit more performance oriented gadgets is gonna be the sports chrono package. Gonna be able to go between sport, 
Sport Plus, Individual, and there's also a Sport Response button that's going to be right in the center. So this is going to have that as standard, opposed to the regular Cayenne. Something else that we're going to find as standard is that PASM we were talking about just a little bit earlier. That control is going to be right here in the center console, uh, or you can find it up on the PCM screen. Now with the center console completely redesigned from the Macan, the Macan actually has physical buttons. This has what we call direct touch. You just tap it a little bit with a little bit of force, you'll be able to select the mode or button that you're looking to select. Heat seat heating, PASM, seat cooling, any of the AC controls. That's going to be through what we call direct touch. It's this very beautiful, nice glass panel that we find here in the center console. Okay, now going with the PCM screen. It's going to be just a little bit larger than it was in the Macan. It's going to be 12 inches opposed to 10.9 that we found in the Macan. As far as the menus, they're going to be very, very similar to what the Macan was. Going to have the very beautiful Google Maps, uh, Apple CarPlay if the car is equipped. That's a very, very great option. Now, the biggest thing that we're going to find between Cayenne Coupe and the Macan is the Cayenne has an 8-speed Tiptronic transmission. Macan has a 7-speed PDK, which is a dual-clutch transmission. So what does that mean to you? Well, with a dual-clutch transmission, it's going to shift a lot quicker than with a Tiptronic. It's going to be very, very snappy. The PDK is actually derived from our sports cars. So with the shifting points, it's going to be a decent amount quicker, and it's going to make it feel a lot more sporty than it may here in the Cayenne Coupe. Not that the Tiptronic is any slouch, but it's just going to be a little bit slower to respond when you're shifting through the gears. It's going to change the performance just a little bit with the Cayenne with this 8-speed Tiptronic transmission. Now going here to the instrument cluster, it's got very, very nice LCD displays. You'll be able to toggle through different menus just as we were in the Macan, but the screen's a lot larger. It's going to be a vehicle screen, tip screen, nice big navigation map. If you do not want to have it here on the PCM screen, you can put your turn-by-turn -turn instructions right there in front of you, right in your line of sight as you're driving the vehicle. It's very, very beautiful. Several things that this Cayenne Coupe is equipped with that you're going to find over the standard Cayenne Coupe. It's going to have heated and cooled seats. It has also something that I find very, very helpful is the surround view camera. That's a 360 bird's eye view camera. That is an option on this car, and it does help when the cars are a little bit larger uh, to be able to maneuver them in and out of spots, backing, or even going forward. When you're going forward, there's a really nice crystal clear camera that you're going to see pointing out the front of the vehicle or in the back of the vehicle or even on the sides if you're going to be parking in a little bit of a tighter spot. This vehicle is equipped with that. also has the optional Bose surround sound system. I highly recommend it in a lot of our vehicles. The bass sound system still sounds great, but you do get quite a bit more power with the optional Bose surround sound system in both of the vehicles. Highly recommend that if you're going to be specking your own car in either the Cayenne or the Macan. Okay, so which Porsche Sports SUV will suit your lifestyle best? Well, that's for you guys to decide. Will it be the Macan GTS or the Cayenne Coupe? As always, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. If you have any questions, if you just want to leave them down in the comments below and hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.